Hi everyone, I recently did a teardown of this broken LED bulb from Omni and in that video I said I think the PCB of this LED strip has gone bad because we can light individual LEDs but we can't light the whole thing and the reason why I thought that is because the power supply in the bulb is still outputting a voltage somewhere around 4.5 volts so I assumed that these were all in parallel but then somebody said to me well if you lit an individual LED and these are in parallel they should all light up albeit dim so most likely these are actually in series and something has gone wrong with this power supply and instead of outputting say 120 or 140 volts DC it's only outputting say four and a half volts so I think they might actually be right this might actually be in series and that would make a lot more sense so what I have here is a power supply from another LED strip light um, I think this was rated for around 15 watts something like that although I you know it seems pretty small for that much power but I figured we can give it a go and see if we can light this strip now I need to be very careful because there's live AC coming in there let's try and light the strip oh look it is working it's very very bright wow so they are in series and that's why it didn't work let me turn this off carefully discharge anything that's left let's check the output voltage of this power supply should be in DC but still high voltage so around 180 volts DC but that's unloaded once you put a load on it that's probably going to drop down significantly so there you go it is actually the power supply that's gone bad and the LED strip itself is still okay so potentially I could use this in future projects although I would ideally like to put this back in the strip light that I took it from <laughs> because the strip light is still working I just temporarily desoldered this so I could use it for this test so you know what I decided actually I don't really use this LED tube it's much longer by the way I've just cut it down um, I don't really use this tube because it's kind of awkward so let's actually just use it for this strip here so I cut down the tube so I could put the power supply in here the AC comes in this side DC high voltage DC comes out this side and goes onto the LED panel now ignore this super bad soldering I was using a USB soldering iron and basically it's struggling to keep the heat because of course this is aluminium backed and it's on a heat sink um, so I was having such a hard time getting the iron to stay hot enough to solder anyway it does actually work even if it looks really bad let me just put this little diffuser over the top and then turn it on and we'll put it through my watt meter and there we go it is incredibly bright like ridiculously bright um, let me try and block it so you can see it's actually consuming around 22.6 watts and you can actually use this thing as a hand warmer it really does get pretty hot now of course I am shortening the life of the LED panel um, by running it at higher power and it gets pretty warm but it is connected to this big heat sink so that does actually take away most of the heat um, and I'm not going to use this for like extended periods of time basically if I'm shooting in a location where there's not enough light I'll just quickly plug this in and use it for say five or ten minutes and I think this heat sink will manage to keep it cool enough it is incredibly bright um, bear in mind this used to be a 16 watt panel or used to be driven at 16 watts now we're driving at like 22 watts so definitely we're going to shorten the lifetime of this panel but yeah it's actually a pretty cool little light and pretty portable so I can use it in different you know different places um, I wouldn't leave it unattended because you know this is DIY and this is actually high voltage DC around 120 volts DC so it's still not something you'd want to play with um, but yeah I, I'm actually pretty happy with that you know it's just a simple little DIY thing um, but I think it will come in useful for me so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching